Did you know? Did you know? Melancholy. Did you know what it feels? Oh, God, I don't know why I like that one. I like the Tori because he doesn't attack. He needed like several accommodations. He needed a special interaction with the mushrooms. He needed a custom supersonic slide mechanic so that he could actually uh, do certain things without doing my stupid little shtick where I jump over everything and wrestle the physics. Oh, oh yeah, the double jumps are going to be kind of annoying because I'm pretty much operating on a hope and a dream on those. YOLO PRO BRO! I like there's a bad guy there, just in case you didn't get it. of working with a completely different jump arc. It's like Luigi in Mario Galaxy, but worse. Like, no, ex like the anti coyote period on that is just so good. Because I definitely made a mistake or two there. In terms of jumping a little early. But I'm just a little man. What do I know? guide me, but I'm on a slaughter run. I don't like slaughter wads, but it's a little bit different. When I'm the guy with the gun, which is already the case in Doom, but... I'll be glad when I never, ever have to collect all these bobules again. Technically, I should be able to jump over there, but I don't think that's going to... I love how it looks like the trees are actually... Like, the floor's up there, because of how the canopy's thick, but you can't see down below. Abracadabra! Every time I get a double S, it's one less level to complete. I mean, it's only at a one, really. Anyway, it's the level that really feels like it should be its own level, or, like... Overstays is welcome. Something, something, something. It's it's the that level. You know what level it is.
Only one out of the three characters actually has paw pads. And that's Anna. Everyone else has bird feet. Stop running like you belong in some sort of role-playing game instead of a platformer. My dude. Anime. I've never tried to use that for anything. I still don't know what it's really for. Because I don't think the other paths have it, so it's not a symmetry thing. Yeah, now we actually need the attack prompt. Although it feels kind of weird to do it with a character you unlock after you've beaten the game. But you know. Enjoying the moment, you know. Enjoying the vibe and feel of the levels. The diegetic sounds. sound. I never noticed that before. Considering the game seems to grow your hitbox for, like, those fancy jumps, I hope to goodness that the no, no collectibles run. I mean, you could probably jump around these with these, even if they're intentionally made easy to hit. Maybe, I don't know if it's a player property, like if it's a state you're in, or if it's the objects themselves that simply have larger hitbox, like there's a larger hitbox variant. Either or, it can be done with pretty much the same amount of ease, really. Not that they're easy to do, but, like, there's no special double amount of energy that's needed for one or the other. If you do it well, at least. Like, if your objects probably have inheritable classifications and you're not that thick on the scrutiny. I don't know, would it be hard? I don't know, I've never worked in a game engine, but I know, like, from a prog programming point of view, that should not be that hard. And if it is, then congratulations, engine. Why do you make it so hard? Sixteen and five, not five hundred twelve, because five hundred twelve is like it's a it's a nerd number. Almost messed it up because I'm used to Tori. Same day.
mean, it does give the final moments a bit more oomph that it's like the one area where the full music song plays. So there is the anticipation, but I don't know, man. up and down because of the, because it's associated with a player state and a movement thing. Oh, that's so good because that's actually, you know, that's kind of like seeing how the sausage is made and I think that's cute. I love it. Nice, the opposite, you know, the floor is the floor, the sky is the sky, instead of the other way around we had for a bit there. 